a key part of our mission here at CISS is help people regain self-sufficiency uh, once they exit our emergency shelter. And one of the ways we go about doing that is through our job training program. And uh, it dawned on me very early on that the small little 750 square foot greenhouse and raised beds wasn't big enough to serve uh, the population that we have here in our emergency shelter, but also their interest in agriculture. Uh, so there was one year uh, that the little greenhouse had produced almost 10,000 pounds of vegetables and fruits and was probably one of our most dynamic programs that we had. Uh, and so I had to look outside the box and find innovative ways to solve uh, one of society's hardest problems, and that's creating a food secure state. And right outside of our emergency shelter is a four acre water retention basin that is hardly ever used other than to uh, capture a little bit of water rain runoff and then it exits right out to the Des Moines River. We work closely with the city of Des Moines and we purchased uh, the water retention basin for a thousand dollars. So believe it or not, of all things, I uh, was running late to a meeting uh, and the person that I got an opportunity to sit next to is the principal, Matt Carlisle at Confluence Landscape. Matt and I had a chance to really sit down and think and I, and I gave him a tour of our building, shared our mission. Matt came back with this brilliant idea and that's really what we're instituting here. Uh, expanding that larger greenhouse, uh, expanding the agri-hood uh, into a beautiful downtown urban farm and a park that everybody can sit back and enjoy. Um, but really the food out there is free to absolutely everybody. The agri-hood has been a concept that we've been working on for about three years. Thankfully, uh, we have the Shane family greenhouse where every month 5,600 heads of lettuce are produced here. And we take advantage of that by serving that twice per day in our own shelter kitchen. Hiring Aaron Thormanson, our urban farm manager, was key to this entire process. So Aaron every day uh, has a gardening club where over 40 individuals in our emergency shelter just sit down for an hour and learn about agriculture, learn about farming, and learn uh, even as they find stability in housing that they can have their own backyard garden. Uh, so it was Aaron's uh, energy and compassion of service that really helped elevate this program. That's the best part that comes from this, is we are able to take clients uh, and give them an opportunity to learn from experts on how to um, produce uh, not just lettuce, but multiple types of plants and uh, edible vegetables. And this opens up them to, to a level of happiness and community and connectivity that maybe have been lacking for a long time. And so while the greenhouse checks a lot of boxes, it puts people back to work, it feeds a hungry community, uh, I look at the lives that is changing both mentally and emotionally for the people in our shelter every day. The first time you see a child eat a cherry tomato or a sugar snap pea when that's not normally a part of their diet uh, and it brings just pure joy to their face and they want more of them. Um, the fact that we're able to provide that now on a regular consistent basis and parents don't have to pick between paying rent and putting food on the table because of what this farm does, um, it is just honestly a blessing in our mission and an opportunity to continue to serve our community.